Hi kids, welcome to Kindergarten with Teacher Villar. Good morning kids, I am Teacher Villar and welcome back to my lesson video. Last week in our math subject, we have learned about colors and shapes. Well, right now we are going to learn another thing. But before that, can you please tell me what do we call those that are flying around us? What do we call these insects or those insects? We call them what? Very good! These are butterflies, right? Now, do you like butterflies? Well, I like butterflies too because of its beautiful wings and how freely they fly around the garden. So right now, I will be showing you a video of butterflies. And as you watch this video, I want you to observe their beautiful wings, okay? I want you to look closely at their wings. So here it goes. to listen because they have the looking eyes already and the listening ears and the hands that are kept very good so a while ago we watched the video of butterflies right now I have something to tell you I have a friend who went to the butterfly garden and saw this butterfly that one now what do you think is different in this butterfly? Does it have wings? Well, yes, it has. It has. But what do you think is different from its wings? That is right. The other side of this butterfly's wings doesn't have a color. Now, can you please help me um, color the wings of this butterfly? Okay, let's start. Now, what do you think is the color of this first part of the wings? Well, let's see. Oh, it's color orange. Now, what do you think is the color of this next part of the wing? Hmm, do you think it's still orange? Well, let's see. Oh, it's yellow. It's just the same as this color wing right first is orange then yellow then let's see what's next oh orange and yellow orange and yellow orange and yellow well what do you think is next that's right it's color orange so the pattern of the wings of the butterfly is this 
First is orange, yellow, orange, yellow, orange and yellow, orange, yellow, and orange. Very good. So right now, there's another butterfly who has the same problem. Now look at this one. Look at this butterfly, okay? So this is the butterfly. So as you can see, the other wing doesn't have a color too. So can you please help me determine the color of this other side of the wing? Okay, so let's start. What do you think is the first color? Oh, there it is. First is red. Next is what? It's pink. Next is, what do you think? Red. And the next part is? pink and then what do you think is next red and pink very good so that is the pattern of the of this butterfly swing okay let's let's see okay what was that again first was red and then pink and then red and pink and red and pink Okay, so there you go. So this is the pattern of the butterfly swings. Now, can you tell me, can you say to me again, say pattern. Again, say it again. I cannot hear you properly. Say pattern. Good job. So right now, we are going to learn about patterns okay patterns that we see around us so do you know that patterns can be seen anywhere you just need keen eyes to recognize these so for example what is this one it is a chameleon okay it's a chameleon now what is the pattern of its color now let's start first with the head first is green and then a light green a green again and then another light green and then green again so this is the pattern of the chameleon's color now how okay and the light green again but how about this one as you can see we are in the garden first is this flower and then oh another flower and the yellow flower Another red flower. Okay, so we can see the flowers there. Now, what do you think is the pattern of the colors? Well, let's see. The color of the first flower is red, and then red, a yellow, red, red, yellow, and red, and red. So can you see the pattern right here? Can you see that there are two reds and one yellow? Two reds again and one yellow and then two reds. So one by one, red, red, yellow, red, red, yellow, red, red. So that is the pattern of their colors. Now how about this one? These are erasers in the classroom. Now can you tell me the pattern of the shapes? of the erasers so let's see first is a triangle and a star a triangle and a star a triangle and a star so that is the pattern of the erasers right here another thing how about let's go to the kitchen wow that's very delicious do you know what food these are these are chicken nuggets and it's very delicious, right? Now, who would have thought that we can also see patterns in the kitchen, right? And even in our own food. So, let's see. What is the pattern of the shape? Let's see. First, we have a heart. Heart. Fish. Fish. Heart. Heart. Fish. Fish. So that is the pattern of the chicken nuggets. So let's see again. This one is a heart, heart, fish, fish, heart, heart, fish, fish. Good job, kid. So right now, I want to know if you really did understand what the pattern, how the pattern goes. So what do you think is next? So let's see. 
Red, red, yellow, red, red. What do you think is next? Do you think it's red or yellow? Well, good job. It's color yellow because as you can see, red, red, yellow, red, red, yellow. Good job. Now, how about this one? Oh, these are squares. Now, what do you think is next? So, let's see. It's green, blue, blue, green, blue, blue. What do you think is next? What's next to this one? What's next to blue? Very good. It's green. Good job. Now, how about this one? Oh, these are shapes. These are shapes. Okay, so triangle star, triangle star, triangle. What's next to the triangle? Is it a heart? Well, is it a square? Well, of course not. It's a, it's a star. Good job. It's a star. Okay, so how about this one? Oh, these are shapes again. These are shapes again. Now, what do you think is next? Let's see. Heart, rectangle, heart, rectangle, heart, rectangle. And what do you think is next to the rectangle? Is it a star? Well, I think no. Well, is it a... Um, hmm, is it a cylinder? Well, no. Let's see what's next. It's a heart. Very good. So these are some examples of what? Of patterns. Okay, say patterns. Good job, kid. And don't forget that patterns can be seen anywhere in this world. And you just need very sharp eyes or the looking eyes to recognize patterns everywhere. And so, that's all for today, kids, and we have learned about patterns. So, goodbye, kids, and see you tomorrow. Goodbye, kids, and see you tomorrow.